Hello, Mr. Hassler here. This is going to be a demonstration on how to do a pyramid with two-point perspective style. So I've got the same setup as I had before. I've got this horizon line. I've got two vanishing points. Now, a pyramid, try to imagine seeing it from the sky. You're a plane. You're over Egypt. You see the Sphinx. Then you see the Great Pyramids of Giza. And you see something like this. You see a square, and then you see an X in the middle where the high point's right there. We're going to imitate this. So I'm going to show you how to do a square underneath the horizon. And don't forget, horizon, this is also eye level. This is what we're seeing. So I'm going to make it below the horizon like we're looking down on it. But I'm going to do a square. Here's how we do it. You need two lines, light tracer lines, going to each vanishing point. That's two going to the left, now I'll do two to the right. And wherever they cross over, that will be my square. Here, I flip my ruler just to see this a little bit easier. But this actually, and it looks like a diamond, but that's really a square. I could outline it a little bit more just to make it that much more apparent. But here at this point, what I need to do is I need to find the very middle. And here's where we go to geometry and how do you find the middle of a square? I just did it. Look, you cross the corners. If I cross these corners, it helps me find the very middle, whether it's a rectangle, whether it's a perfect square, what have you. So I'm gonna do that here. So I'm actually gonna take my ruler or my straight edge and I'm gonna do two light lines corner to corner. One, and then two going across here. Now I've just found this upper shape. Now the next step is this. I'm going to draw vertical. This is going to be like the backbone of the pyramid. So this vertical, it's got to go straight up and down. You might line it up against the edge of your page. Like right over here, it's got to go straight up and down and hopefully not cross over this back corner. There you go. So straight up and down. How high? That's up to you. It just depends how high you want your pyramid to be. And this is a cartoon type shape. What we just determined is this top point. From this end of the vertical, I'm going to do four lines now down to the four corners. Three of them we're going to see really well. The other one's tucked behind. But I'll do a light line just so we can see it. I'm going to make this dark because I want it noticeable. There's the left side. Here's the front. Slight angle. Here's the back. Another slight angle. And now the right. Pretty dark. There we go, there's my pyramid. You can see how the bottom lines up to the right side and the bottom here to the left side. Cross the corners to find the middle. I went up from the middle and then down to each. The very last thing that I like to do is some shading. Now you'll notice all these lines go to the left vanishing point. Left side, left vanishing point. Right side on the surface is gonna go to the right vanishing point. If you really want to, you can do some you know, camels. This is a massive camel. I suppose with the pyramid that big. <laughs> so a bit of a zoom in. Here is my pyramid. So you go ahead and try it yourself. Contact me if you have any issues.